And we have a, a, a huge support from the journalists. I and mean, when you have the, the support of the media, half of the strike is done. Because, you know, it's like uh, it, you are part of the common sense, you know, in terms of the cloud. You know, the new common sense is to be fascist. But the only thing I don't agree with the excellent presentation of Israel is that, yes, there is some part of the society, especially in Spain, who is against the feminist and against the woman, and is a far right. So uh, that is my question for the table. Uh, can you link the fight uh, for women and the feminism as a battlefront, as a battlefield against the far right in this country, in Italy, in Greece, or uh, in Spain? I think it's important, you know, because the reactions that the far right have, uh, it's amazing. Not only in the in the in the rude way the far right used to speak, but also using intellectuals. There is one intellectual from here from Italy called Fusaro who wrote an article in Spain, I have a lot of impact. Yes, it was amazing. Fusaro is like uh, no far, no, I mean, he's a far writer. But anyway, he's uh, using the Leas Gramsci, Ibn Marx, uh, Heidegger, mixing something amazingly, but it's connecting with some part of the new wave, uh, the new cosmopolitan precarious, right? Anyway, so he wrote an article in Spain saying, going back to the idea that why one of the reasons for the men to support the far right is because some families are too radical. And that is something that for us is absurd, but it works. Some parts of the society work. We cannot be so radical because we create fear in some men on some patriarchal structure that does not allow us to, to do as we So it's just only a and again, it's not only the rude things are attacking us, insulting us, but also using high level intellectuals to disrupt this idea of the common sense of this 21st century has to be a feminist. Thank you, Marina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because in Liverpool, where I come from, I had a, 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 a Facebook message simply asking, uh, could they get, could a Spanish comrade get involved in what was going on in Liverpool in International Women's Day? And um, I didn't know what I was letting myself in for. Suddenly, we had a huge organisation based on sort of Spanish energy, and we ended up in two weeks. We ended up organizing a really big demonstration in Liverpool. And then to add to that, it was the time of the beginning of the movement in Sudan. So we had, a, we had a, um, our demonstration was headed by um, a Brazilian-led samba band. And then we had the Sudanese women chanting and dancing. And then we had the young women of Liverpool fighting, particularly the students, fighting for fighting against violence against women. And then we had the general left of Liverpool as well. That all came from one Spanish comrade, Miriam, contacting us and saying, we have to do something. We've done demonstrations on International Women's Day before, but nothing like that. And then they didn't stop. So now we have an organisation in Liverpool called Sisterhood, which is already planning the detail of next, next year's strike. So 2019 is again going to be the women's strike in Liverpool. And we've linked up across the country. There was a meeting of um, women's strike organisations across the country in Manchester about two months ago. There are political differences. There are serious political differences, but we have to work together against, work together to keep this idea of women organising as absolutely at the forefront. It's not come out of the blue. The comrades have said that very clearly. It's, the young, some of the young women organising in Liverpool are migrants. They're not migrants because they particularly like the weather in Liverpool. It's not good. They're migrants because they come for work. And they've come from work because of the churn 
of capitalism and the way it's pushing migrants around the world. We also had a Sudanese delegation, and I tell you, it's one of my great privileges to have chaired the meeting in the street where Sudanese women were saying, we can't, we speak, this is our rebellion. Our husbands are here, but they're at the back where they belong. We need this. The world is changing, and the women are changing it. It's a fantastic opportunity, and I'd urge everybody, start little, if there's only a few of you, just announce on social media you're having a meeting to announce to organise for the International Women's Day on the Women's Strike on the 8th of March. You'll be amazed who comes and how we can build from it. Thank you. Je m'appelle Maïté Pollard, je suis membre aussi de la région de l'Espagne et du Parti communiste. Et je voudrais ajouter quelques petites choses à ce que Isabelle a dit et je vais continuer un peu la réflexion de Marta. Et moi je pense que le succès le plus important qu'il y a eu la lutte communiste en Espagne, c'est que l'extrême droite espagnole de Vox, sa politique, le 95%, c'est contre les femmes, contre les féministes. Et ce qu'il parle, quelquefois, de l'écran, de l'écran, etc., mais surtout, il parle des droits. Qu'est-ce que c'est ça Des droits des femmes, de l'avortement, à concentrer le 95% de sa politique contre le féminisme, etc. Et ça, je considère un succès du mouvement féministe, car et si ce mouvement féministe en Espagne serait un peu mouvement avec, je ne sais pas, quelques mille, quelques mille de femmes, mille femmes dans la rue, et pas des, des centaines, des milliers, je ne sais pas le droit dans cette ville-là, beaucoup, centaines, millions de femmes dans la rue, et l'extrême droite probablement serait occupée des homosexuels, des lesbiennes, etc., mais pas absolument concentrée contre le féminisme et les femmes. Alors je pense que ça c'est une bonne lutte aussi pour nous. Parce que nous devons faire ces débuts de contre l'extrême droite, notamment pas seulement les partis politiques, sinon aussi d'une manière très claire le gouvernement féministe. Merci.
naturalmente ehm, ci sono state delle manifestazioni già al mattino con eh, piccole manifestazioni, per esempio eh, chi non poteva naturalmente come panni spagnoli, come panni grandi, chi non poteva superare perché cioè, era l'unica linea del lavoro, si faceva spesso lavoravano a turni, mettevano dappertutto in tutti i posti eh, sulla viola, con le viole, in altri viola, in altri e viola e eh, quello che volevo dire la destra naturalmente è contraria, addirittura a Berna il Parlamento, le lavori del Parlamento si sono fermati perché la Presidente del Parlamento è una femminista, sono scesi in piazza le donne del, del Parlamento, non tutte, le donne di destra sono rimaste tranquillamente seduse e hanno, sono andati a manifestare insieme a Nato e Dolce con questo d'ora di tutti quindi hanno sospeso i lavori del Parlamento. Ehm, cosa è successo? Quindi eh, lo so però talmente tanto nel mio cantone, 400.000 ricanti, 10.000 persone. Canton Vallese, un Vallese molto retrogrado, 20.000 persone, Ginevra 100.000 e hanno perso addirittura il pulmino in mezzo alle donne, quel pulmino dove possiamo salire per poter fare discorsi, ma per il momento era scomparso in mezzo alla folla. Eh, quindi adesso cosa, si, eh, cosa succede? Le donne quindi donne di ogni età. Il dopo, perché è quello che bisogna chiedersi anche. Il dopo si continua a lavorare, si continua a nei collettivi e soprattutto i sindacati, perché sono loro, si sono già mossi, ma non so bene cosa hanno chiesto, perché l'hanno fatto ieri, hanno fatto una conferenza stampa perché si muoveranno per la parità salariale. Questo è un po' per quello che dire, quello che è molto interessante e molto bello che abbiamo visto, che visto le donne di unità, ma anche nelle scuole dei ragazzini, nelle giovani, nei liceali, hanno manifestato, hanno lavorato, hanno fatto dei siti. È stato un lavoro di elaborazione, un lavoro non solo di partecipazione alla manifestazione, ma un lavoro di presa di, eh, di, presa di coscienza collettiva e di volontà collettiva di questo tipo. sono le donne che educano i bambini, maschi e femmine. Perché maggior parte delle donne distingue l'educazione dei figli, tra compiti femminili e compiti maschili. Questo sono le mie domande sulle contraddizioni che
Politics. I'm from the native of Germany, and I think it should be possible for women for women to join the army if they want. I'm an absolute pacifist. I hate every um, sort of violence, but I think it's a part of um, of their freedom to do the jobs they want. And you have to think the army is not um, is also happening in some areas of the world. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Greetings, I'm sorry from Macedonia. I just wanted to uh, give an answer to Ms. Yolanda about uh, joining the army of women. I'm coming from a partisan family and we both grandparents who were members of partisans and fighting in the uh, Second World War. And we cannot forget about the um, contribution of women in the uh, territory of Yugoslavia into the Second World War. Because women were completely equal with the men during the world war in the territory of Yugoslavia, so uh, we contributed equally into our freedom and, and fighting the fascism. Uh, you are completely right uh, about the education of women and the selection of uh, men and the uh, girls work. And I think that is a very big problem in the family. Because uh, the first problem, uh, of the first root, the main root of the patriarchy is coming from the family education. We mothers are, are teaching our children that uh, boys and girls are not equal, that we have to wear pink and they have to wear blue. That is there we, we can, we can uh, locate the first problem. Uh, for, uh, just answering, I just want to ask to the question of Mr. Lora about the situation in uh, the women of our countries. For example, in Macedonia we have a problem that uh, Macedonia was uh, one period of 50 years uh, part of Yugoslavia in which uh, the situation of women was very, very high level. Now we have on, on, on the 8th of March, which we have a situation that we cannot uh, convince our women that uh, going to, uh, that the 8th of March is not working day only for women, and they go into the restaurant and celebrate the, the women's rights. We have in the period of the right wing uh, conservative party in 10 years, we had a very big problem because there were amendments on the law on abortion, which uh, had a very complicated uh, process to do the access to the abortion right. So practically we have decreased in the last in the period of 25 years of independence in the women's rights. So we have still uh, still to fight for our rights. We have we way back in 70, 80 years back before the Second World War. Thank you.
I'm sorry, we have no time for questions, but we have again a plenary afterwards, again for women, and we have tomorrow also a seminar for the violence against women. So that we have, I'm sorry, I cannot take more questions, but we do have more opportunities afterwards and tomorrow also in the seminar. So I give now the floor to the speakers in order to respond and answer. Yes, I am. Pero bueno, en España estuvo bastante tiempo escondida dentro del Partido Popular. Eh, al salir, eh, bueno, ellos han puesto eh, su acento en las cuestiones que los diferencian sobre todo de los demás partidos. Como todos se dicen democráticos, pues ellos no lo son. Y, 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 y bueno, lo niegan, eh, aunque no lo digan con esas palabras. Desde luego que sí atacan a las mujeres y sobre todo... A ver, cuando ha habido un movimiento feminista, unas movilizaciones tan enormes como las que ha habido en el 8 de mes, en el 2018 y en el 2019, todo, todo machista, eh, se, pues todo, sí, toda persona machista eh, se revuelve y eh, ataca, y ataca firmemente a las mujeres. Eh, entonces, ¿qué podemos hacer nosotras? Yo creo que nosotras somos parte de la lucha contra, contra precisamente eh, la extrema derecha y los eh, valores eh, o, 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 o pocos valores que, que tienen, ¿no? Entonces, sí, ah, vale. Ok, eh, spero di non eh, allontanarmi da quello che diceva eh, Isabel. Quindi effettivamente è vero che in Spagna Vox e l'estrema destra, ehm, eh, si, come in Spagna ma anche in altri paesi, si mh, dimostrano contro, contro le donne. Eh, Vox è stato nascosto fino alle ultime elezioni, nascosto dentro al Partito Popolare. Eh, loro hanno posto l'accento sulle questioni delle differenze e eh, loro stessi si dicono diversi dagli altri partiti, ma in realtà gli altri partiti sono diversi dagli altri partiti democratici, quindi loro si dicono, non si dicono non democratici, ma effettivamente lo sono. E questa cosa si vede anche contro le donne, soprattutto in seguito all'8M del 2018 e 2019, eh, ci sono stati mh, dei veri attacchi macisti contro le donne a livello di a livello eh, di altro. La, la questione è che cosa facciamo noi di fronte a, questa, a, questa, a questo problema. Eh, dobbiamo lottare contro le estreme destre e contro il fatto che non hanno valori, eh, o hanno poco, pochi valori eh, rispetto, nel rispetto delle donne. Ah sì, io credo, io credo che... Eh en cualquier momento que haya un ataque de la extrema derecha tenemos que tener las mujeres una respuesta saliendo a las calles y demostrando que eh, nos van a encontrar unidas en contra eh, de eh, cualquier sometimiento al que nos quieran llevar. Quindi credo che in ogni momento che eh, subiamo noi eh, come donne degli attacchi da parte della destra dobbiamo unirci, dobbiamo resistere, rispondere e mostrare sempre di più che siamo unite eh, e lo saremo e saremo ancora più forti di loro nella nostra risposta. Quindi 